Fix-It Felix Jr. was an 8-bit video game in a family arcade. Even though it was 30 years old, some kids still really like to play it. I'm gonna wreck it! Ralph was the game's bad guy. His job was to wreck the building. Felix was the good guy. His job was to fix whatever Ralph wrecked. When Felix does a good job, he gets a medal. But are there medals for wrecking stuff really well? To that, I say, ha! And no, there aren't. Felix always won medals, and Ralph, well, Ralph never got anything, except a regular trip to a mud puddle. At a support meeting for all the bad guys in the arcade, Ralph heard that it was good to be bad, and that his game needed him. But Ralph wanted something more, to be appreciated, like Felix. He thought a medal could make that happen. It sure must be nice being the good guy. Sergeant Calhoun scolded Ralph while the game got ready for a new player. Still, Ralph found out two important things. The cybugs were attracted to a lighted beacon, and the Medal of Heroes was on the top floor. Never interfere with the first person shooter. So stick to the program, right, right, soldier! Aye, aye. Right, right, aye, aye. Ralph sneaked up to the top of the giant building. At last, he got his medal. The general congratulated him for being the greatest hero in the entire universe. No way. <laughs> Suddenly, a baby cybug flew up onto Ralph's face. Ralph screamed and tumbled into an escape pod. Get off my face! The escape pod sped through the arcade's electrical cords and crash landed in a new game, Sugar Rush. Ralph didn't realize the cybug had escaped with him. I gotta get out of here. Ralph's medal had landed in a candy tree. As he climbed to get it, a quirky little girl named Vanellope von Schweetz appeared. She grabbed the medal, while Ralph fell into a taffy swamp. <laughs> Ah! Vanellope went to the racetrack. She used Ralph's medal as her racing entry fee. The crowd gasped in horror. Vanellope was a glitch, a computer mistake. If she raced, the game could go out of order. King Candy. Taffeta Mutton Fudge, Adora Beasel Winter Pop, Gloyd Orange Boar. Things got worse for Vanellope. Ralph had escaped from the Taffy Swamp and tracked her down. Vanellope ran. So did everyone else. Oh boy! Come back here! Uh, oh. uh, 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 uh.
Later, the other racers found Vanellope. Because she was a glitch, they ruined her cart so she couldn't race. Ralph saw it all and chased away the bullies. What are you doing? Uncool. Ralph told Vanellope that she was a crumb snatcher for taking his medal. Vanellope offered a deal. If Ralph helped her make a racing cart, she could win the race and get his medal back. Ralph reluctantly agreed. You better win. Ah, come on, pal. I'm adorable. If Ralph helped her in Ralph's game, the Nice Landers realized they needed Ralph. Without him, Felix had nothing to fix, and the game appeared to be broken. The arcade owner put an out of order sign on the monitor. Felix teamed up with Sergeant Calhoun from Hero's Duty. Calhoun wanted to catch the cybug that had escaped with Ralph. Felix wanted to find Ralph. I never thought he'd go turbo. Calhoun was curious. Go turbo? Gotta find it before it lays its filthy eggs. I never thought he'd go oh, turbo. I never thought he'd go turbo. Felix explained that Turbo was once the star of the arcade. But when a new game arrived, Turbo moved into it. Both games looked broken and were put out of order for good. We crashed it. Meanwhile, Ralph and Vanellope went to the cart baking factory. Ralph thought their little creation looked pretty bad, but Vanellope loved it. She finally had a real cart. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it! I finally have a real cart! Ay, ay, ay. The duo raced back to Vanellope's home, hidden inside Diet Cola Mountain. Giant mints dropped into a pool, creating geysers of hot cola. Ralph felt bad for the kid. Are you a hobo? Listen, kid. I know it's none of my business, but why do you even stick around this game? Ralph realized Penelope was an outcast, like him. He decided to help her realize her dream of becoming a racer. That maybe, just maybe, she could be a part of her game. I told you, racing's in my code! <laughs> Later, King Candy found Ralph and returned his medal. The king explained that if Vanellope raced, players would see her glitch. The game would be put out of order, and Vanellope would disappear forever. Why are you people so against her? Why are you people so against her? Vanellope returned with a surprise. She handed Ralph a candy medal that said, To Stink Brain. Vanellope grinned. Turn it over. I made it for you. The other side read, You're my hero. <sighs> okay, open him up. To Stink Brain. 
Gee, thanks. Turn it over. I made it for you. Ralph felt terrible. But he had to wreck Vanellope's card to keep her from racing. He had to protect her. He felt even worse when she sank to her knees, telling him, You really are a bad guy. Sadly, Ralph went home. I'm doing this for your own good. You really are a bad guy. Back in Fix-It Felix Jr., Ralph looked across the arcade. Vanellope's picture was on the Sugar Rush console. Vanellope belonged in that game. King Candy had somehow made her a glitch to keep her from racing. Ralph hurried back to Sugar Rush and found Felix locked in King Candy's fungeon. Ralph begged him to fix Vanellope's racing cart. If Vanellope raced, her programming would be restored. Felix fixed it. Ralph, I'm so glad to see you. Felix! Then Ralph found Vanellope. I know, I know, I know. I'm an idiot. Vanellope grinned. And? And a real numbskull. Once again, the bad guy and the glitch were a team. I know, I know, I know. I'm an idiot. And? And a real numbskull. Felix and Ralph helped Vanellope join the race. She just had to cross the finish line to be a real racer again. Vanellope used her glitching to pass the racers, even King Candy. The king was furious. Everyone watched the race on a giant monitor. Something was happening to King Candy. Felix couldn't believe his eyes. The king was turbo. Even worse, the cybug Ralph had brought from Hero's Duty was alive, and it had multiplied. As the new cybugs began to destroy Sugar Rush, everyone ran to escape. <laughs> But Vanellope was stuck inside the game because she was a glitch. Ralph remembered Hero's duty. The cybugs were attracted to a giant lighted beacon that would destroy them. Ralph raced to Diet Cola Mountain and plummeted down toward the hot spring geysers. I'm bad. And that's good. I will never be good, and that's not bad. No one I'd rather be than me. Ralph risked his life to make a huge lighted beacon. Then something amazing happened. Vanellope used her glitching powers to rescue him.
Kid! It's pretty cool, huh? Vanellope and Ralph landed safely outside the volcano. The Cybugs swarmed to the lighted beacon and were destroyed. Sugar Rush was saved. Woo chocolate! <laughs> it's chocolate! I love chocolate! Then, it was time for Vanellope to cross the finish line. This was the way to restore her programming, the programming that Turbo had changed. Ralph gave her a little push. You ready for this? This place just got interesting. All fixed! As ready as I'll ever be. When Vanellope crossed the finish line, Sugar Rush was restored, and Vanellope became a princess. She was the rightful ruler of Sugar Rush, but she decided to stay a glitch. She liked herself just as she was. I know who I really am. I'm a racer with the greatest superpower ever. Wow! It was with all the magic sparkles. Wow. So this is the real you, princess. Oh, my land. Oh, this place just got interesting. Wow. So this is the real you. Vanellope asked Ralph to stay in Sugar Rush, but Ralph had his own job to do, and it was important. It was time to go home to his own game. You know, you could just stay here and live in the castle. You'd have your own wing where no one would ever complain about your stench or treat you bad ever again. You could be happy. I'm already happy. Got the coolest friend in the world. Fix-It Felix Jr. was back in order thanks to Ralph. He was still the bad guy, but that was okay. Ralph now had a friend right across the arcade, and that was enough for him. The end. I don't need a medal I'm to back. tell me I'm a Did good guy. Did you miss guy. me? I don't need a medal to tell me I'm a good guy.
Thank <laughs> you. 